Hi, my name is Jared Bernstein. I'm an economist here at the White House, a member of the President's economic team and the chief economist of Vice President Joe Biden. A lot of people have been raising the question as to whether we can afford uh, health care reform in America without busting the budget. Uh, I'm here to tell you that the answer is yes, we absolutely can, but I'd actually take it considerably further. We can't afford not to fix this problem. Whether we're talking about middle class families trying to make uh, their ends meet in a climate where health care premiums are rising three times faster than earnings, or where American businesses face a huge competitive disadvantage relative to uh, 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 overseas competitors, um, again, we simply can't afford not to reform uh, health care in America. Somewhere in the fray, a uh, very important point in that regard has gotten lost. President Obama pays for health care reform. He pays for it fully, and it is deficit neutral. He does so by squeezing some very expensive inefficiencies out of the system, uh, almost $180 billion of excess payments to private insurance companies when Medicare can provide those services more effectively and efficiently. He does so by lowering drug prices and lowering the rate at which folks are readmitted to hospitals, by uh, lowering the rate at which very high earners can itemize tax deductions. Right now, we devote uh, about 17% of our economy to health care. That's over $2 trillion, both private and public. But if we do not implement the kinds of reforms we're talking about today, the arithmetic that we're looking at is as simple as it is unforgiving. As long as healthcare spending continues to grow faster than the rest of the economy, every year we will spend an ever-increasing share of our economy on healthcare, such that 20 years down the road, that 17% will become 30%. Now just think of all the economic activity that that's going to crowd out. I think about it in terms of schools, libraries, job creation, businesses, large and small, not to mention incomes for uh, middle-income families. So how do we squeeze these costs out of the systems? The president's health care plan emphasizes the most effective treatment over the most expensive treatment. Quality health care over quantity. Uh, prevention and wellness uh, uh, are important parts of, of his plan. It's Important to recognize that a third of illness has to do with obesity, smoking, and lack of exercise. So there you have it. Uh, if we can tackle this unforgiving arithmetic and alter that unsustainable trend we're looking at, we're talking about freeing up hundreds of billions of dollars. And we'll build for our kids uh, a healthy and sustainable health care system, not leave them a bigger problem than the one we found.